everyone, my name's Tamara Chambers, and this is Tamara's Never Seen, and I'm mobbing on through Mob Month March with The Godfather 2. Myself. So as a recap, I enjoyed Godfather, realized that it's just such an amazing movie, it's obviously as good as people say it is, but felt that it was probably a little too long for my liking. This movie was increased by 20 minutes and so yeah, it's a little too long. I saw that it was 3 hours and 22 minutes and I went up to the TV and took a photo with the timestamp to express my upsetness. <laughs> Such a millennial thing to complain about, jeez. There's an intermission in this movie. This is not the theater. It's a movie. I think while being completely predictable of me and my preferences, I think that this reaction video is going to irk quite a few film lovers and normal people and everyone in between everywhere. So let's get into it, huh? Okay. Now Was this amazing? Yes, yes, it was amazing. It was beautiful, incredibly well executed, very intentionally paced. These actors are giving the performances of a lifetime, acting their beautiful, pristine little socks off. I don't know if they're pristine. I don't know why that was the adjective I chose to use. Pristine little socks off. Just an incredible story and incredible storytelling throughout. Some of the scenes were just amazing. Did I like this movie more than I liked Godfather Part 1? Yes, I did. I miss Vito, but I just, I loved Robert De Niro as young Vito in this. Pretty much made up for Marlon Brando not being in this one. I loved the back and forth. I love timeline jumps like that in film, and, and this just did it masterfully. It really connected the two. As I know that it's Part 1 and Part 2, it's not completely different films. And it did a really good job with that, obviously. Thank you, Tamara, in 2019, telling us that Godfather 2 is well done. <laughs> Thank you. But I just don't want to sit through a three hour and 22 minute movie. If it's not like your exact cup of tea, that's not even true. It's not everyone's exact cup of tea and they still love it. It's not in my wheelhouse of things that I would choose to just throw up on the TV and watch. Clearly nothing is because this show exists. And in that, I think that the three hour and 22 minute time frame was just a little too daunting for me to enjoy it completely. I, I paused it a, quite a few times, went and got a string cheese, came back and watched it for another half hour, then paused it again, went and played some Skyrim for a bit, <laughs> came back, paused it again, played our organ for a couple minutes, poorly paused it, came back again, wished that there was a horse. You get the idea. I really enjoyed it in its excited moments and in some of the more heavy scenes. The abortion scene, yikes. I just, sitting through a three hour and 22 minute movie, it just, it bums me out. If I'm starting at one, I am not getting done. Till 4.22, two minutes past the best time ever. I know people are gonna hate this. I know, like, every time I say something about my opinion, people are like, that's stupid and you're dumb for thinking it. Well, probably, probably you're right, but the fact that I think that Godfather Part 2 is too long and Godfather Part 1 is too long, it, I'm gonna make some, some fun enemies, but that's just, that's just how I feel. That's just how I feel. In this Part 2, three hour and 22 minute long experience. It goes through young Vito's life rising into the godfather position, the Don, and then Michael, who has taken over after Vito passed away in the godfather position, the Don. Michael is trying to legitimize the family and in that does some really shady, non-legitimate things. This is off his wife quite a bit. <laughs> this is my K-inspired look. It's the only wig that's kind of like in that era that I have, but I kind of love it. Quick poll, should I cut my hair like this? Answer down below. I'm not going down there to read it, but I don't know. 
Someone will. <laughs> Some of these scenes are incredible, and I think I would have personally enjoyed it more if, if this, the movie wasn't so long-winded in between these really heavy and incredible scenes and exciting scenes. And, and now that I'm thinking back on some of these scenes, I, you know, I'm just getting stoked and pumped up about them. So clearly there's merit in that. You can have my answer now if you'd like. My offer is this. Nothing, bitch! It's pretty obvious that this is a gun wrapped in a towel, but somehow it still is pretty menacing and scary. So here you go. Pew pew, bitch. Freda, you're nothing to me now. You're not a brother, you're not a friend. I don't wanna know you or what you do. I don't wanna see you at the hotels. I don't want you near the house. When you see our mother, I wanna know a day in advance so I won't be there. Okay, bitch? It wasn't an abortion. <laughs> it wasn't a miscarriage. It was an abortion, Michael. It was an abortion. Just like our marriage, bitch. My father's name was Antonio Andolini, and this is for you, bitch. Oh my God. This apple is disgusting. Oh, if anything in this life is certain, if history is taught as anything, it's that you can kill anyone, bitch. Whew. Oh, oh my God. How old is this apple? Months? Years old? I have my own plans for the future. I'm going to the military. Thus ending the film. Goodbye. Bitch. <laughs> Some of the character developments in this one also really, really good. I think Hay's arc in this movie is very interesting. I just loved their pure relationship and I loved how she was trying to work through what Michael was actually gonna start doing for a living in the first and then in this part, really coming to terms with it and, and not sitting by and allowing it to happen. That one dude, Frankie, sounds like he was the voice of Watto in Star Wars Episode One. So that was fun. We have this senator who is giving Michael so much crap and I just in my notes wrote, oh, horse head for dinner, Mr. Senator? That confidence is misplaced, my friends. It's really interesting to see the similarities between Michael and young Vito, Robert De Niro. I, Robert De Niro is so good in this and he's so handsome. Michael, why are the drapes open? In my house? in my room where my kids play with their horse heads. Listen, it's it's really good. I think I would have probably enjoyed it even more if I was with a group. Like if I would have watched this with Doug and Rob Walker and Malcolm and Walter and Ayana and Heather, and I think if we were in a group, I would have really enjoyed watching this movie and like talking about it while it's happening, but sitting here alone on my couch for three hours and 22 minutes it doesn't really do it for me. I know that's a personal flaw. I know that people aren't gonna love that, but I don't really care. Go on now, get. I kinda just want a 90 minute thriller horror movie, and then I wanna go play video games. And that is a personal flaw on me, and fine, whatever, sure. In my house, where my cats play. I don't even remember the exact line. I am so thrilled that I have watched these movies now. It started off and I was thrilled that I watched them just because they're such a cultural importance. Now I'm just thrilled I watched them because halfway through I didn't think I was gonna get through them. So I'm glad it's done, I'm glad I've done it. I would absolutely watch these again, but never alone. I would never put this on just casually. But with friends, I would totally watch this again. I am excited to move on to Scarface. I think it's gonna be a little more exciting, maybe a little more up my alley. And I am going to try to do a live reaction because I've heard the last scene is pretty batshit. Batshit craisins. I'm gonna try to do a live reaction, filming my reaction. I know people have been asking that from the dawn of time with cameras never seen. And then after Scarface, all of next month is gonna be cameo videos. Me and Doug, Walter, Malcolm, Brad Jones. We're gonna get a bunch of people up in here. The horse, this guy hasn't seen Sea Biscuit, so you haven't seen Sea Biscuit? Crazy. Thank you so much for
for watching. Mob month has been very, oh, what's the word I wanna use? I've learned a lot, really caught up on cultural phenomenons, and I think I'm in a, I'm in a good fella camp and not a godfather camp. I know those aren't really comparable at all, but I'm gonna compare them because I'm an idiot. <laughs> Thank you for watching. I will see you all next week with Scarface. Bye. They made me an offer and I didn't refuse it, but I could have. <laughs>